In terms of picking the companies that we'd like to invest in and, and how we make those decisions, uh, we really have to rely on a broad range of skills that draws on the experience of the whole team. So it begins with science and medicine and understanding that a company has a product that's worthwhile to the patients and to the doctors. Uh, but then one of the things that's always been interesting for me is on top of that good product for a patient, you also have to have a business model that works. So you have to get that product approved, you have to take it to market, you have to get it paid for by insurance companies uh, or public payers like the government. Uh, and then there has to be a business on top of it where investors can get good risk-adjusted returns. So one of the things that's interesting for me is to look at young companies that start with the science and the medicine, but making sure that all those commercial and investment pieces are also there so that all of the constituents in a deal uh, can get what they need out of it. The investors obviously need good risk-adjusted returns consistent with the strategy that they've signed up for, and then the doctors and patients uh, also need what they, what they need out of a young uh, healthcare growth company in terms of quality care uh, that's cost-effective for the patients and for the healthcare system.